Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Wherever you notice the breath is clearest in the body, focus your attention there. And then try to notice if the breath is comfortable. You can try changing it for a while, make it longer or shorter, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow, faster or slower. See how rhythm and texture of breathing feels good for the body right now. Because you want to give the mind a good place to stay inside. If you don't have a good place to stay in the present moment, you're going to go searching someplace else. Back to the past, up to the future. But you really want to be able to see your mind right here, right now. Because it's in the present that you can train it. When greed comes up, if you're not here, it can take over. Anger comes up and you're not here, it can take over. Same with delusion. So you want to be here when these things come and be ready, to be ready for them. This principle of training the mind is really important. Otherwise the mind is like a little puppy you get in the house, and it may be adorable, it may be nice, but if it makes a mess all over the place, it's not all that nice to have around. But when you can train it so that it, when greed comes, you don't give in to the greed, when anger comes, you don't give in to the anger, when delusion comes, you don't give in to the delusion, then you can live together and the mind is no longer creating harm for you. This is one of the most important things you can do in life, is to train, train your mind. This is where you are responsible. Some people ask sometimes, why were we born? And the Buddha's answer is because we wanted to. We wanted to take birth. We were dying from some of the life. We were looking for another place to go, and we saw this opening, and we went for it. But often when they ask that question, why were we born, they actually mean another question, is what's the purpose in life? And here the Buddha says, you've got to choose. The universe itself doesn't have much of a purpose. It just goes around and around and around. And it's driven by the purposes of all kinds of beings, so there's no unified purpose. There's no overarching purpose for it. It's pretty much a free-for-all. But the free-for-all just keeps going and going and going. Because if you do unskillful things, it's not free anymore. There's going to be suffering down the line. And even if you do skillful things, it's very easy to get attached to the results of those skillful things, which are nice. But then that attachment can eat away at the mind, and you end up doing unskillful things again. You want to see if there's some way you can get, get out of this. That's the best purpose of all. So what your life means is up to you, and you can give it the purpose that you want. But just make sure that you choose wisely, because there's so many purposes in life that even when you gain them, even when you succeed, there's going to be trouble down the line. So you want a purpose that doesn't have any trouble. And that way your life is well lived. The Buddha talks about people of four kinds, those who come in darkness and go in darkness, those who come in darkness and go in light, those who come in light and go in darkness, and those who come, come in light and go in light. What he means is when you come in darkness, you come into the world, you're born into a family that's poor, not much education, the parents don't have virtue. Whereas coming in light means you come into a family where you're well off, you have an opportunity for education, and your parents are, parents are virtuous, they know the Dharma. Whether they know the Dharma or not, they're still virtuous people. And going in darkness means that you yourself become a person who's not observing the precepts, who's not training the mind. It just allows your greed, aversion, and delusion to have free reign. Going in light means that you gain some control over the mind, and you become a person of virtue, a person of concentration and discernment. And as the Buddha said, whether we come in darkness or come in brightness, come in light, doesn't matter. What really matters is how we go. So that's something you can determine for yourself. How we come is the result of past karma, but our present karma can make the difference in how we go. So you focus there. And where is the present karma being made? Well, right here in the present moment. So try to get the mind so it's happy to be here in the present moment so it can see itself clearly. And that way you can work on a genuinely good purpose for your life, each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out.